One, two, three. And with that, two of the 54 transplanted turkeys are free sliding in the foothills of the Sapphire Mountains. Everything went just perfect. The venture actually begins 48 hours earlier. South of Broadus on the Montana Wyoming border as the rocket propelled net fires true. It's never a guarantee when you go to trap them. It's, uh, you know, you, you gotta, you've got to hope that everything goes well with the birds showing up on the bait and that the nets trigger and, and uh, that we catch some. And luckily everything went smoothly. Then they're boxed up one bird at a time by frosty National Wild Turkey Federation workers and brought west to the Bitterroot Valley. We've had turkeys here 20 years ago and and I'd like to see them back. So we'll be monitoring these birds to see how they do and if they get established. Right now there are an estimated 2,000 turkeys in the Bitterroot with this newest flock itching to begin life anew. As soon as everybody kind of gets out of here and things quiet down, they'll actually start talking to each other from one hillside to the other and from one tree to the other and they'll actually congregate back together and they'll start feeding and then as it gets closer to dark they'll find some trees to get up in and roost for the night. And a couple of seasons from now hunters of all ages will get the green light to try and bag a bird. Do you want to get one of those birds for your freezer? Yeah. 